Hey guys, it's Tom. I'm back here at the Dollar Tree on the hunt. I just got a bunch more stuff to go home and try. Uh, let's go see what I got. Well, I think we did pretty good one more time. Uh, we have the uh, breaded chicken sandwich from Fast Bites. We have the uh, chili cheese dog uh, from Fast Bites. We have the uh, Salisbury steak dinner with mashed potatoes and gravy. Tell me that doesn't look good. We have uh, an extra, extra large beef and bean burrito from El Monterey. And last but not least, we have beef and broccoli. We're going to be eating Asian style. All this for just $5. Uh, let's go check it out. Hey guys, it's Tom and I'm back here once again doing some more taste testing uh, from the Dollar Tree. Uh, we did one segment with five items. We're back again with five more. Uh, there's just a lot of stuff over there and, and after uh, doing the first five, I have to say I was pretty much impressed by the, the, the food that they sell there. So let's get started with our first one here. This is the breaded chicken sandwich uh, from Fast Bites, uh, microwavable with uh, 15 grams of protein. Uh, as with pretty much everything that I've, I've eaten so far at the Dollar Tree, a lot of ingredients. Uh, and that's pretty much it. Um, the nutritional facts are on the back. 390 calories if you care. Uh, it's pretty basic, quite honestly. A chicken patty and a hamburger bun. So, uh, microwavable. Let's see, I think it said about a minute. Ooh, it says remove from the box and open one end of the wrapper. Microwave on high for one minute. Very important, always read the directions before you tear into these things. It could make a difference. So let's go ahead and do this. We're gonna put this back in the wrapper, just like that. I'm gonna go pop it in the microwave for one minute. We'll give it a test. Okay, well, here we go. Uh, it is a little warm. Um, like I said, I'm eating all this stuff all natural. No um, mayonnaise. No lettuce, salt, I wouldn't put any of this, but we want to really get to taste. So and it's always, sometimes whenever you're microwaving something, if you're doing a bun and a piece of meat together, sometimes the bun overcooks. So this has been one minute. So let's give it a try. Hmm. Not too bad. Um, for what it is, I mean, just a chicken sandwich, uh, patty. Um, Ingredients wise, I don't know. It's looking pretty um, pretty gnarly in there. It's not obviously a chicken breast. It's a lot of uh, ground up stuff. But hey, what do you want for a buck? I'm going to give this one about a six. That's good enough, right? Okay, next up we have Fast Bites Chili Cheese Dog. Um, Hot dog with chili and American cheese on a bun. Uh, just so you know what that orange stuff is on top. It is American cheese. Calories 310. This one here, the same deal. You uh, take it out or you open the pack and then you uh, cook it in the pack. Let's take a look at this first of all. You can see that the cheese is frozen on here, just like that. Okay. So I'm guessing that when it's all uh, microwave, it's going to look Look pretty darn good, almost edible. We'll go ahead and pop this in the microwave. Uh, it says 60 to 90 seconds, then let it cool for another 60 to 90. So we're gonna follow the directions on that one and uh, see where we end up. Okay, so this has been cooling for just a few seconds here. So uh, we're gonna take it out of the wrapper. It is kind of hot, so be careful. The main reason you wanna cook it in this wrapper is uh, it helps steam the bun a little bit, I guess. So there you go. Doesn't look too bad. You can see the cheese is melted. Um, the smell is a little odd, I gotta say, but it is in this little paper boat here. So I'm gonna take it out so we can kind of exactly see what we got. So there you go. Now, smell wise, just the bun. A little tough and chewy. Hot dog, I'm sure it's not top of the line, but it still has the general shape and look of a hot dog. Not bad considering. A uh, little bit of chili, not a lot of chili, just enough to let you know it's there. Don't like that. I'll give it a five. It's the best I can do. I mean, look, 
Okay, next up is a, a treat, uh, once again, from Michelina's. Uh, we've actually tried some of her stuff on our first segment. It was actually pretty good. She is one of the, uh, I'm guessing, one of the resident uh, Italian chefs uh, working at the Dollar Tree. Uh, the stuff seems to be pretty good that we've had in the past from Michelina's Kitchen. Uh, this one here is the Salisbury steak with mashed potatoes and gravy. Um, microwavable. Most of the stuff is microwavable. A lot of ingredients on the back. That's pretty much it. So the one thing you have to remember is when you open this, open the corner here. You don't want to take the lid completely off. You just want to kind of vent it a little bit so it can steam out. If not, you'll have a uh, Salisbury steak explosion at your house. Check that out. I'm going to take it out so you can see what it looks like before. There you go. <laughs> Salisbury steak. So let's see. That looks like the mashed potatoes. And I'm guessing it's translucent. Right there is the Salisbury steak. And then all along the outside is a gravy. So you can kind of see that. It's kind of cool. Uh, all in one little flat little thing. I'm going to go microwave it. Uh, so it's going to be about six minutes total. I'm going to try it. So let's take a look. Oh, so there you go. So there we have the mashed potatoes. You can see here. This is the Salisbury steak. Not real big, but it is, it is there. It does smell rather good, I will say. Mashed potatoes, well, it is what it is. Then we have the Salisbury steak. You can see that. Very tender. Almost too tender, kind of scary tender. I think I'm going to need to go back and look at the ingredients list on this one. I'm, I'm not sure. I mean, it tastes good, but I'd be hard pressed to believe there's any actual meat in here. All in all, it's okay. I think I give it maybe a, um, a seven just because it tastes so good. Uh, putting aside what is really in here that made this up, smell is good, taste is good. Um, so let's give it a, a seven and uh, just leave it at that, okay? Okay, up next we have the El Monterey Extra Extra Large Beef and Bean Burrito uh, for a buck. Uh, I'm sure we've all had uh, frozen burritos uh, before, so uh, this is something that's not new to me and probably you either. One thing I did notice when I first got this was that very large. It is an extra extra large uh, burrito. At least it seems to appear that way in the package. So there you go. That's a good 12 inches. There is a, uh, a caution on the back. It says for food safety and quality, uh, internal temperature must reach 165. If, if safety and quality is uh, something you're concerned about, I'm sure you wouldn't even be buying this. But in the fact that you are, just if you have a thermometer or you want to stick it in there, make sure it's 165, go ahead and be my guest. I don't, I don't know if it's going to make much difference at this point. Uh, Cooks for two minutes in the microwave, frozen. Uh, if you want to thaw it out, it takes a little bit less, about a minute and a half. Or you could do it in the oven. So like I said, I've always made uh, frozen burritos in the microwave, so we're going to do it the same way this time. Just pop in the microwave for two minutes and uh, then just see what we got. So there you go, straight out of the microwave, two minutes. You can see uh, some ooziness uh, right out the corner there. So I'm going to cut it right in half here and uh, see what comes out. Okay, so let's see. Not a lot of stuffing inside, but it is something. But it all comes down to taste, I guess, right? So we're going to go ahead and, uh, and taste this. I got to tell you, I don't eat at the, the, the fast food Mexican restaurants all that much, but the times that I have, I don't think this is really any worse than those, quite honestly. And it's a lot bigger too, so the taste is not bad. If, it was, if I was to really eat this, you know, and make a meal out of it, I'd probably douse some, some tapatio on it or cover it with something else, maybe some guac. But for this one, it is. I think this is maybe a, a seven. Um, on a scale of 1 to 10. Obviously, we do grade lower, being as it is a Dollar Tree. But uh, this is one of the better ones. It's okay. I mean, it is what it is. Um, like I said, 
I've had many frozen burritos and I don't think this is any better or any worse. So uh, I don't think you can go wrong if you buy this one for a buck. Okay, last but certainly not least, we have our beef and broccoli, uh, Asian style. And I saved this one for last uh, specifically because I, I have high hopes for this. I, I like this kind of stuff. Even when I go out to, uh, to, to real restaurants, I'll order like the beef and broccoli. And the picture looks, looks pretty good too. You got the broccoli and uh, the beef there. I think that's about it. It's, it's uh, pasta and seasoned beef and a savory ginger sauce. Um, whenever you have a savory anything, it's good. 260 calories, uh, anyone watching your calories, uh, there's 260 in this box right here in front of you. So we'll open this up, there you go. It's all right there. It's beautiful, right? So there you go, let's see if we can find everything on there. We have the, uh, there's a sauce, the broccoli, the beef, the noodles there kind of look like spaghetti noodles, but that's okay. So it's just like a one big brick of goodness right there. So we're gonna pop that in the microwave and see how it is. Put it back in this little case. Let's go heat this baby up. Okay, right out of the microwave, still steamy. Uh, there it is. Okay, all mixed together. I'm gonna dump it out in the plate now so we can really get a good shot of this. Now, the first thing I noticed was um, the spaghetti, almost spaghetti noodles pasta. I would have liked something a little bit more of an Asian flair, but that's just me. But uh, there it is in all its glory. Not too bad. You got some chunks of beef, some broccoli. These are little cubes of beef. Not usually what you're used to getting when you go out and order beef and broccoli. The sauce, a little spicy. Not the best tasting sauce, I gotta say. It's okay. Not bad. For a buck, I always say always for a buck, you know? You can't, you can't look at it that way, I guess, but um, it really is for a, for a dollar. I think it's well worth it. I have to give this one, I think maybe a, an eight. I'll give it an eight, how's that? I think this is the only one I've eaten here today that I'm actually going to, uh, when the cameras are off, I'm gonna finish. The rest of them, not so much. So there you have it, our uh, beef and broccoli, uh, and then everything else. We have our Salisbury steak mashed potatoes, chili cheese dog, beef and bean burrito, and uh, our chicken sandwich. Uh, were they good? Eh, they're adequate. Would I buy them again? In a pinch. Always keep one of these stored maybe in your freezer. Uh, way in the back corner. So when you complete, you run out of food, you go, hey, look at, we still have one of those chicken sandwiches left. Keep watching, and we'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.